Disclaimer, do not be stupid enough to not ask help from an adult to use dangerous materials if you're underage. We ain't responsible for any accidents. Enjoy. I mean, be careful. Hey guys, what is it called when girls throw a bobby pin back and forth each other? A pinball? But a bump. You probably didn't see that joke coming since you clicked on this video blindly. Today, 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 we will be making a pinball machine, but the twist is, it will not be powered with electricity. Smart blow. You're probably thinking, uh, no, uh, uh, that's impossible. Well, it's in the name, bruh. Creative world. You're so slow. What are you, a snail? Where have you been living? Under a rock? But a bum. Alright, so the materials you're going to need are a ton of carbon, an acrylic paint set, a marble, plastic utensils, rubber band, masking tape, glue, and or double sided tape, and a life. Or is it just me? But a bum. I have got to stop doing so let's begin! So first, get the cardboard out. Make it about 21 inches for the height and 17 inches for the width. Well, that is if you're using a marble as a pinball ball. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do is draw the design on the cardboard. First thing to draw is the starting point for the ball. Make it about 1 inch wide so the ball has space. Now we're drawing the paddles. Make the box in the shape of a triangle. Make sure to draw both boxes 3 inches apart from each other, or less. Anyway, the size of the machine actually depends on the ball, so just adjust it for a better outcome. Um, now I'm drawing bumpers here and there, and the canals on the sides that go to the bottom. Make the canals about one inch wide too. Now that's all that's important, just add any ideas that come to mind. Okay, so right now we are going to make the boxes for the paddles. Also, a tip for the box, make sure it fits like a fist, you'll understand later. Take a new piece of cardboard and draw the final version of the paddles box. The width should be about less than 4 inches and the height 3 inches. Now cut that out, duplicate it and put it in positions. Alright, so now let's make the walls for it. The walls should be about 1 inch tall. Cut it out and attach it to the triangle with masking tape. Then repeat the same step for the other one. So now we take the plastic utensils and we turn them into paddles. We won't need the top part so just snap that off by positioning your hold here and leave a little gap on the neck and then wriggle it off until it snaps. Now take any kind of tape and cover up that sharp edge. Now take the scissors and cut a fat line on the corner of the box, just by the slope. And make sure the utensil slash paddle fits. Do the same for the other box. Then before taping the paddles in position, make sure the exit gap is less than one inch open. Next thing to do now is to tape the paddles. Make sure the paddle is pushed out about an inch or less. Then tape them to the box using masking tape from inside and out. Continuing for the paddles, make ring fingers on the edge to fit your finger in to use the paddles. As the paddles and the boxes of it are now done, draw it in its final position on the board and cut it out. Now tape the boxes covering the holes from outside and in. When that's done, cover the board all over with whatever color you want your pinball machine to be. Now paint or draw any design you want to put on it and also paint your paddles in a different color if you like. Now we're creating the walls for the entire game according to the previous drawing. You can put the walls up before painting it on the board too or have it the idiotic hard way like me and blindly putting the walls in position. <laughs> When it is time to make the main walls for the pinball machine, make sure it's about 5 inches high, more or less. Secure it well on the board with masking tape. If you're wondering why we're using masking tape more than duck or scotch, it's because you can easily paint acrylic on the masking tape. But you probably already know that since you're super smart. Now to make your pinball machine look more pro than crap, cover up all the holes the walls made with cardboard slash roofs. So that's done, let's continue painting. Make the pinball machine as colorful as possible, inside and out. While the paint dries, let's show you how the bumpers slash bouncers are made and how they work. First we take rubber bands. For each bouncer, we'll need two rubber bands. <laughs> you know, since bouncers need rubber bands, I think bands need bouncers for their parties and clubs and stuff. <laughs> but um bumps. So anyway, you'll need to cut out two small strips of cardboard that's just about the same length as the rubber band. Attach the two cardboard pieces together in any way you want, crisscross style, etc. In two, across. 
Now put the rubber band on it and voila! A bouncer slash bumper. Now just repeat that as many times as you want. Add paint, secure it with tape and be creative with it. Now let's get back on the pinball machine as it's dried out. You'll notice I poked a square hole at the bottom of the starting point of the game. This is where you fit the chopstick set. Now before you break the chopsticks into two, don't! Take little long strips of cardboard, roll up one on the very top and secure it with tape. After, put it through the hole in place. Then, by the bottom but not necessarily at the end, repeat the step. These cardboard pieces work as locks so the chopsticks stay in place. Also, paint on it, man. Now, sorry I didn't mention this in the materials list, but you'll need a thumbtack. Take a rubber band, put it at the end of the chopstick, take the thumbtack, hook the rubber band to it, and puncture it to the wall by the side. When the bumpers are dried, glue them in position on the pinball machine. Uh, to make it easier to stay put for about half an hour, take the rubber band off first. Now also put up paper targets as obstacles on the game by either gluing it or using double-sided tape. When the glue is dry and the bumpers are steady, put the rubber bands back on the bumpers. An easy way to put it without removing the bumpers from place is to stretch it out and carefully fitting it like when you don't want to startle a hamster but you want to put a sweater on it because it's cute! So let's move to making the legs for the pinball machine. Match the length of the cardboard with the pinball machine. Make it uh, 5 inches tall, midway up the rest of the 5 inches, cut a 10 degree slope off the thing. Remember that well, 10 degrees, not the temperature or you're a moron. Duplicate the cardboard and attach them on the bottom of the pinball machine, one on each side. Then at the back, attach another table leg so it's steady. Now color the outside and the legs all over. Now just add more designs and details to make the pinball game look amazing! Be creative with your ideas guys, don't count on me to do all the work. <laughs> Alright, now you are witnessing the hardest game ever, as it says on the game. Now you will understand why I call this the hardest game ever, because I will play it. Ah. Oh dang it, I didn't even start. Woo. Ooh, bam, 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 bam. I have to hit one of those obstacles. Ugh. Whoa, yeah. Got one point. Ooh. Oh, dang it. This is the hardest part. Ugh. 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 I didn't even try. Next game. Boom. Ah. Did you see that? That's so unfair. Hardest game ever. Boom. See, the bouncers actually work. Oh. What is wrong with this game? Now you're thinking, so that's how you make a pinball machine from scratch? How did I not know that? Well, that's because you used to fly with a flock of flying elephants. Dumbo. Boom, boom, OMG, but shut up. Okay, so that's what you do when you can't find pinball games in arcades. You look for them in here. Comment more suggestions on what I should make next for your entertainment. And make sure you share my videos to your pals who also enjoy entertainment. Why do I always put my fists on my hips like this? I would really love to hear more suggestions from you guys. Thanks for the LSCS. That's for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And please do. So this is Put from Butchophobia. Thanks for watching.